always think like a bronze medalist, not silver, says Derek Sivers, an American writer and programmer, a former entrepreneur and, and musician. He is best known for starting CD Baby. In one of his books, which he wrote in 2020, he noted that imagine the Olympics where you have three winners, three winners of a race standing on the podium, the gold, the silver and the bronze. Imagine what it is like to be the silver medalist. If you have, if you would have been just second, a second faster, you would have won the gold. Damn, so close. Damn, 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 so close. You would keep comparing yourself with that gold winner who you lost from just by a second or two. Now imagine what it is like to be a bronze medalist. If you have, if you would have been just a second slower, you would have won nothing at all. So awesome. You, 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 are, you, are, you are thrilled that you are officially the Olympics medalist and get to stand on the winner's podium. Comparing up versus comparing down. Your happiness depends on where you are focusing while you are comparing yourself. The metaphor is easy to understand but, but hard to remember uh, you know, in, in, in regular life. If you catch yourself burning with envy or resentment, think like the bronze medalist, not the silver. Change your focus. Instead of comparing up to the next higher situation, compare down to the next lower one. Yes, that's the trick of comparison. For example, if you aim to buy the best thing, you may feel like gold when you get it. But when the new best thing comes out next year, you will feel that silver envy. So instead, if you aim to buy the good enough thing, it will keep you in the bronze mindset. Since you're not comparing to the, uh, to, you know, to the, to the best, you will feel no need to keep up. I, you know, Cyber says that he met a lot of famous musicians. The miserable ones were upset that they were not more famous because they would bitterly compare themselves to the superstars. The happiest ones were thrilled to be able to make a living out of making music. That was, that was their mindset, said Cybers. On the other hand, when you are being ambitious, trying to be the best at, at a specific skill, it's good to be dissatisfied. Like, like that, that silver medalist focusing on the gold. You can use that drive to practice and improve. But most of the time, says Cyber, you need to be more grateful for what you have got, for how much worse it could have been and how nice it is to have anything at all. Ambition versus gratitude. Comparing up versus comparing down. Yes, comparing up versus comparing down. That's the trick of comparison. Thank you.